So now we're going to apply the sticker. We've already looked at how to make sure we lift it from the backing and only take the sticker and not the tape that the sticker is applied to. So once you finish with your polish, you can apply it one of two ways to make it stick. You can either wipe off the tacky layer of your uh, gel polish or you can apply a top coat and cure for 10 seconds. That's what I'm gonna do here. So first I'm just gonna wipe off the nail. Make sure there's no oils on it. That's just as, um, alcohol. And then I'm gonna apply a top coat, a no wipe tap, top coat. Let's see a little hair in there, okay. Make sure I get the sides too, because I want it to stick everywhere. Okay, put that in the lab for 10 seconds. So, now that we have the sticker separated, and remember we have that shiny yellow part, or the shiny part that's on the paper, whatever color paper you're gonna apply this to, you want that shiny part to stay here. That tells you the tape is still there, and now you just have your sticker. And it's really thin, very flexible. So I'm gonna look and see how it's gonna fit on the nail. See if I need to trim anything. And I do need to trim right around where the neckline is. So I'm going to take that and trim it real quick. So that it'll fit nicely across the tip of the nail. It doesn't matter that you're cutting this off because the most important part is the face. From there. Okay, just a little teeny tiny bit more. Okay, okay. kind of position it where you want it, and then hold it down with your thumb, and then from there, you're going to press. You're going to press really firmly. Okay, and then check the sides to make everything is down. And if you look at that, you'll see that there's nothing raised up. It's all laying flush. Check the other side, make sure it's all flush. Okay, looks good. Sometimes depending on how curvy your apex is, you might get a little wrinkle. If you do, you can take something like a silicone nib like this and you can smooth it down just to push out any wrinkles. Okay. Okay, everything is down tight. And I'm going to put, I like to use a builder and a bottle. This is my Orly. And what this does, it gives it a, a, it's a thicker coating for like a base. You could also do this with a base coat, but I, I prefer this one. And I'm gonna seal it with this. Make sure I've captured any edges. And if you find that maybe this edge down here is not covered all the way, you can just run your brush across the tip end to fill in that little gap. And also for the sides, make sure that your sides are nice and covered. Any edges, you wanna be sure that they're all encapsulated so you don't have anything that catches. Okay, all right, put that in the light. Do a full cure on that. And then once that comes out of the light, I'm gonna just check it, make sure everything is nice and smooth, and then put the top coat 
And if you want to embellish around it, you can. You can add some hand painting embellishments. You can add crystals. You could add foil. Anything you like if you want to, or you can leave it as it is. Okay. Now I'm just going to wipe this off with some alcohol. Check all the edges. Everything is good. Okay. Now we're ready for taco. It's nice and smooth. Ready to go. Total process to apply that took about six minutes. 